I wanted to show you how you can uh, keep up to date with some really interesting free and open source software screencasts that are located on YouTube. Here's a technique that I found that works really well for me. So I come over to YouTube and I, I type in something like Ubuntu. And I'm not interested in all of the Ubuntu uh, screencasts here on YouTube. I just want the ones from today or from this week. So I click on search options and I come over to today. And this lists all the different Ubuntu videos from today. So some of the, and I think there's 88 of them. So some of these are really interesting. They're not all in English, but that's okay. Sometimes you should look at stuff from other languages. You might even learn something, even if you don't understand the language. It's kind of interesting to look at them. So um, this guy over here is just excellent, Tim. I, uh, I've been watching some of his screencasts. I've been learning a lot about Ubuntu. And check it out. I'm just going to click on it. It's the uh, OS uh, OzGUI uh, Tech Show. So he's explaining about FileZilla over here. I'm going to click on it. So it's got a nice opening right here. Hi, welcome to this episode of the OzGUI Tech Show. In this video, I'm going to show you FTP software in Linux, Ubuntu Linux and Linux Mint. Uh, any flavor of Linux really. It's also available on other platforms, I believe, like Windows. Now, here's the really cool thing that he's doing. He's using this free software called Cheese, and he uses free software called Record My Desktop. And he's doing the same thing that I'm doing. I'm on a Mac right now using ScreenFlow, which costs $99. So he's using all free software, and he's doing a great job of it. Now, suppose I want to be able to monitor the new Ubuntu screencasts on YouTube with a minimal of effort. Like I don't want to type in Ubuntu every day when I come by here. So let me show you what I do. This search query on YouTube, that can be a bookmark. And check out what I can do. I can go bookmarks, um, bookmark this page, and I'm going to put it into my bookmark toolbar. And I'm going to call it over here something nice and short. So Ubuntu today, I'm going to put U-B-T-Y or U-B-T-D-Y, okay? And I'm going to click Done. And you see right here, whenever I click that, it's automatically going to go right here and show me all the new Ubuntu screencasts from today. And I could, for the same kind of purpose, look for Inkscape and then look for only Inkscape screencasts under Search Options from today. And there are lots of very, very interesting Inkscape screencasts on, uh, on YouTube. You could learn a lot about Inkscape right here on YouTube. And then um, some of the big excitement these days is uh, Lubuntu. So Lubuntu is a lightweight Ubuntu that's coming out soon. And you could run it like on a 128 megabyte old computer. And so I could see if I can find some Lubuntu stuff and some Lubuntu screencasts. And I see a lot of Xubuntus, but um, I don't see a lot of Lubuntu. Let me try to spell it with a capital L or something. Anyway, you get the idea. Lubuntu. Here it is, Lubuntu. So, oh, this guy is excellent. I was just watching him today. Resurrect your very old computer with Lubuntu. Hello, YouTube. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing swell. Well, this video, I, I'd like to start off by talking about uh, Microsoft Vista. Just anyway, uh, when you come across somebody like this who's really good at explaining, you click subscribe. And then, uh, not only does, uh, uh, not only can you watch this person's videos just by searching for the new videos they make, but YouTube will, um, uh, list them as one of your subscribed videos and YouTube if we favorite this video YouTube will know that you like Ubuntu or Lubuntu style videos and it will show you other ones so one of the reasons people like YouTube is that the recommendation engine is very good as soon as you start indicating your tastes uh, YouTube will record those tastes or uh, at least keep it in mind when it recommends stuff Lastly, I want to just explain that maybe you don't want to even go to the effort of coming to YouTube to be 
informed about new um, Ubuntu or other kinds of free software. Say you want to come over here and you're searching here uh, for the ones from today. Say you don't even want to come here for this effort and that you'd like this all to come to your mailbox. Well, there is a way of taking a YouTube search and making an RSS feed out of it. I'm not going to show you right here, but there is a way of doing that. And then let me do um, a new tab. Then we go to Feed My Inbox. Feed My Inbox, you can give a website or URL feed and your email address, and it will send you into your address, uh, into your inbox, um, the hits from your RSS feed. Um, and that's a way where, with minimal effort on your part, you can keep track of new videos of any kind. It doesn't always have to be free and open source software. Uh, you could put in even a favorite song of yours. If you want to find out if anybody is seeing a cover so version of one of your favorite songs, you put that into a YouTube search, take the RSS feed and put it in over here, and uh, you will receive an email, typically once a day, and it is free. Um, it's free for their once a day service, and if you want their live service, you can pay them a little money. Anyway, this is Phil Shapiro. I hope you learned a couple new tips here today.